dead for years, but no one noticed. There are flowers outside her flat, but marks on the door show where police finally broke in. Inside, they found the remains of Sheila Selene. She was very quiet. She kept herself to herself. She used to get out of breath a lot because I used to help her with her shopping sometimes. Yeah, no one came really to visit her or anything. So it's, it's really sad. Sheila lived in this block in Peckham. When police entered her top floor flat on Friday, her remains had decomposed so much, they found a skeleton on the sofa. Yeah, one day you saw her and one day you didn't. She just disappeared? Yeah. We thought she moved out. So it's really sad that she, literally she was right there. And nobody knew. And it was really, really, really strange. On Friday when the police came banging in the door saying that someone was living there and all of the neighbours on my floor all came out and said, no, no one's not been living there for over two years. But many residents complained of a strong rotting smell in the summer of 2019. It just smelt like meat that was just rotting and rotting and rotting. It, I don't know, it's a smell that I can't describe. I've never smelt death before. One resident on the floor below, who didn't want to show her face on camera, said she had maggots coming through the ceiling. It was frightening. You know, I didn't quite understand where they were coming from. And that's when I reported it to Peabody. That's to, the Housing Association? That's correct. And did they take it seriously? Or... No, they told me that um, pest control don't deal with maggots and that I would have to get rid of them myself. But this isn't the first time someone's death has gone unnoticed for years in London. In 2006, the body of Joyce Vincent was discovered three years after she had died in her flat in Wood Green. She still had her TV on. This documentary was later made about her life and death. Few details are known about this case, though we do know Sheila Selene was 61 and was last seen around September 2019. What's the general feeling in the building? Doesn't feel right. Everyone's just in shock. I feel sorry for her family. It's raised some massive concerns for myself as a single woman, you know, living alone. In a statement, the Peabody Housing Trust told us they did make repeated checks on Sheila and are still investigating all the actions taken in this case. Rags Martel, ITV News, Peckham.